Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this is episode 9. So, we got an order that came in from Conchita Dres. Heard you sell that. Heard you sell that. You need four. Well, we got you. So let's drop off our money first. We don't need to, but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea. We're going to take this backpack and we're going to put it in there. And... How much vet did they need? Four. Well, i got to get rid of this sweet dope, so... Package product. Add inventory. Put it down. Add substance. One. We're gonna get rid of this, this, uh, this, uh, sweet dope first, because unfortunately when you mix with the mixing tray, none of the drugs will stack except what you made in that one batch, which is why we need to wait until we get the large mixer so that we can actually mix multiple batches and they'll all stack. <laughs> I should be right there. You got the stuff. Yeah, I got the stuff. So, that's why I also increased our sick, our cost to a little bit higher. So apparently, if you play this on, like, the baby difficulty, um, there are red arrows that show you where the cops are at all the times. Right above the cop's head. Which is probably really nifty. But, uh... Makes it more interesting when you're just trying to rely on the radio chatter. And your knowledge of their path... Of the... Not necessarily their pathing, but... Uh... How they do things. <sighs> hey, look, it's Tuesday. Looking for grass. Need 8G. You selling? Fuck yeah, we're selling. Alright, activate. Package product. So like I said last time, we package whatever the closest increment is up from what they want. He wants 8, so we package up uh, 10. We add 2, and that gives us an 8G package, which goes directly into our pocket. Where's he at? Charlie's right over there. So, as usual, we save. One of the things that I love to do during the day is go and tag stuff. We're not going that way. Which way is he going? That's that guard right there. So, Charlie is... Hey, there's Charlie. You get 8G of smokable. And with our stealth high enough, they will pretty much never notice us at night. So long as we're not standing right in front of them under a light. So, now we have to wait... How much money do we have? We actually have more than enough to pay uh, Eddie back. And I think we'll go and do that. Hey, I got cash. Can we meet? Yeah, 670. So we don't need all this cash in our pockets. But we will take it. And the great thing is, is because we're running without a backpack, there's this, there's not this incidental, a there's not this accidental thing of, oh, there's drugs in your back pocket. And so the cops are going to, you know, arrest you and take a whole bunch of... I thought it was coming this way. I was about to panic. I was about to say, shit. 
Oh, there's a stutter that normally doesn't happen. But on my other file on the hardest difficulty, I only do stuff during the night. That's it. I collect drugs. It's like it's all just during the night. That's it. I don't do anything during the day because I don't want my exposition to rise too much. Because if your expo exposition gets too high, uh, they start doing things that are not favorable to your uh, drug making or your money making schemes. So we try to prevent that. Now, here's a funny thing that I learned about uh, this waiting. It says time's going by 11. So normally, you saw how fast it was going. Time normally does not go that fast. Time normally goes very slow. So, here's the thing about that. When you're doing it like this, those cops are actually moving their pathing at 11 times normal speed, which is why you'll often hear that radio chatter get cut in and cut out so quickly. Because they're moving their route at that speed, at 11 times speed. You want 13x? Alright, 13x is coming your way. We can fit it too. Uh huh. That's amphetamine, that's sweet dope. Okay, so. We're gonna take that. We're gonna add it. And we're only gonna add 7 because they need 13, I think is what they said. Yep. So then we're gonna take this. 13 pack. And we're gonna leave that like that. Actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add substance, add that 3 package product into a new 10G. And the 10G goes there. So that's basically, it's a roundabout way to keep the packaging simple. It keeps us light because we run faster without a backpack. Where are we going? Oh, Valentina's just right there. Um, it keeps us lighter, it keeps us less noticed. Because the cops are less likely to notice us if we're not wearing a backpack. Especially a giant red one like we're from fucking school or something. Hey, there's level 10. So we're going to get a notification that Crystal Meth is unlocked. Hey, there it is. And we are going to unlock it and immediately hey, disable it. looks like the blockades got lifted. Right on. Let's go look around Sector B, shall we? But keep in mind that the police will search your shit each time you pass the checkpoint. So if you need... I did not mean to cut him off like that. Need to move something illegal through that wall. Well, we're gonna have to get creative. Yeah. Do a fight. It's Eddie. Alright there, listen up. A guy will write to you soon. He will solve the cash flow problem I warned you about earlier, if you know what I mean. You meet him, bring him cash, he does his magic. He'll explain you personally. See ya. So we will never use this man. I will show you this Before man. Before you go meet that guy, you have better check if he doesn't drive a white van handing out candy. You know, I I'm just saying. So, Gerard Francier. As far as I know, Andy introduced me, so I'll make this short. If you need your money clean, let me know. We'll meet. You bring me cash. You get the le clean legal transfer from my company to the, your account right after. The minimum amount is 500 and my fee is 40%. 40% is a lot. That covers all my paperwork and taxes. Contact me when you're ready to meet to do business. If you have a substantial amount of money, it might be worth going through him. Might. And if you need to deposit it all at once, and it's during the daytime. What you currently can do is deposit it at night, and nobody notices. So we need to go to Gillette. 
I don't know if the admins tend on fixing that. Like, I say admins. Like, this is a fucking online game. I don't know if the developers plan on fixing that feature. Because I consider it a feature. But they might not. Which means they would make, uh, you know, Francier uh, much more needed. Wait, where are we supposed to be? Yep, we're supposed to be right there. But I just got a few more fee with a senior. Yep, here's your dope. Which, that isn't dope, that's me. Dope is meth. And as you'll notice here, our exposition... When nightfall comes, both of those stats drop 50%. So, if you've got a high stat, you just need to wait out until nighttime, and it progressively falls as you're waiting. As you're not doing things, that will fall. So, it's not really a big old issue. Confirm order, you need two. Okay, cool. I stared at that like it was going to do magic or something. Add substance, add all four. Because we're about to package it up into two. Add inventory, place one down. Cool, and then we got the other one in our pocket. Add the money to the cupboard. Save before we go out, because I'm bad at this. Not really. This is actually really not that difficult. Oh. We didn't actually leave, so let's go check and see what this other order is, because let's maximize our ability to do things. Okay, they have money for us. Cool. We can fit all of that money. We can fit a total of 800 bucks into our inventory. It'll just be split into two $400, uh, $400 packs. So, Nate is right here, in fact. But he doesn't have more than 400 bucks, so we don't need to worry about that. I can probably just meander my ass over here and not run. Because running's loud. And you need the X. We've got the X. We have now given you the X. Cops, which is making me nervous, because I should be hearing cops. <laughs> but I don't, so... And see, we're making good money at this. We are definitely making good money at this. So we have some points to spend. We're going to put it into... We really need to be doing quick learner so that we can, well, increase experience points gained for sales and quests. We really don't need that much experience. We do, but we don't, because see, we're at 10, we only need to get to 13, and I don't want to progress that quickly, so we're going to actually put it into pockets so that we get an additional pocket. We now have a third pocket to deal with things. And they hold a fair bit. We can now hold like twelve hundred dollars, so we got six hundred here. Yeah, we can put four hundred per pocket, so we can hold quite a bit of, you know, stuff and things, things and stuff. Now, one thing that I could do, I'm not going to because we don't have a mixing thing anymore. I got rid of the mixing tray. I technically could put the mixing tray back down, but there's no point because we're gonna get bad mixes. We're only gonna get one-time mixes. Confirm the delivery. You need two, I got two. So where is Charlie at? Charlie is... Uh, Charlie... Over there. Why does Charlie have to be over there? Sneaky, sneaky. Now 
we need to make sure that the cobs aren't coming down this path. We can run all the time if we wanted to. We don't have to. Jesus Christ, I hate it when that... Every time you walk past it, that Russian dude always gets into an argument with somebody. So they're not going to notice us. There's no one around to notice us. I always take this path because this path is not taken by the cops. They never walk down that path right there. They will walk down that path. They will walk down that path a lot. They never walk... There's a few places they'll never walk. They will never walk through here. And they'll never walk in between this building and the basketball court. That little area right there, they never walk through. So, that's a little tip and trick. Johnny Del Pino. To a fet. Perfect. Oh, wait. We got someone else. Ted Drez. Two of candy. Alright, so. Oops. Wrong one. We need two of the sweet dope. And we need to add all of that. And we're going to add it. We're going to make it that color. Package product, and I need how much of that? Two. Yes. Package product, two. Add to inventory. What up, man? Need grass like 15 ASAP. I got you. Package product. Oh. So, that's a problem. That's not actually a problem. Add substance, add it all. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to package product. I think we can hold 20. Can we hold 20? We cannot fit 20 in a, without a backpack. Oh, we just don't have the inventory space. Hold on, let's try that again. Because I know we can hold a fair bit. We actually still can't hold it. Give me Brandon stump sometimes. I actually can't hold that in a pocket, so. We can't hold 20 in a pocket. We probably can hold 15 in a pocket, though, so we're gonna find out. Can we? Yes, indeed, we can. Drop the backpack, because we don't need it. Save, because we're bad at this. And Amy's over there. So, where is F? There they are. And by the way, I'm adding. Shoot! Was not expecting them to be that close to each other. That could have ended very badly. Stealth is not high enough for them to ignore me that much. Amy's right over here. Now they shouldn't notice me from right here. Since those two are over there, that means there's, there's not a third one over in this area. There's one over on the on the uh, west side. There's gonna be another. There's gonna be like a solo one over on the west side. And the main thing we gotta watch out for is right here. We gotta make sure that he doesn't just pop up right there. So is he coming towards us or away from us? I heard him. Jeez, God. Oh goodness. I heard him, I heard him, and I still walked almost right in front of him. Okay, there they are. 
here they go. Where am I going again? Ted's right here. I was running, running straight to Ted, not realizing that it was a trap. Okay, and then we got Johnny Delpino. Which will run this way, hop over this fence. And I love it when people in stink order over here because the cops never come into the grass over here. As far as I'm aware, they never come into the grass over here. And I found, hey, look at that, a couple of stray cans. If we had a backpack, we could actually go tag some shit up while we wait. The importance of carrying a backpack, it allows you to do more things, like carry paint cans, which apparently can't fit in your back pocket. Which I think is stupid. I can fit a can of paint in my back pocket. We're making a run for it. Funnily enough, one time I was playing and I got caught right here. Like I'd walked out and I heard the cops go, Hey, you, stop. And I tried to open the door and it goes, You cannot do this while being controlled by the police. So I had to run around and around the block. Jump over the fence that's right next to us and run around the block in the hopes to avoid uh, getting caught. Need to collect cash. Hell yes. Hello? Stink. Looking for Fed. You selling? Yep. I am definitely selling. Package that up. I need 2G there. And what we're going to do is we're going to package another 2G. Actually, we're going to package two individual quantities. And we're going to put those down so that now I have an easy place to put X. Wait, am I out of X? No, X is over there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to take this and we're going to add substance all eight there. Because here's where my main three drugs are. That's for extras and things. So we drop those things of sweet dope. I need to order more X. <laughs> We're going through that shit fast. Make an order. Can I get 50 X? And uh, actually, hold that thought. I need I need more X. How much weed do we got? We got plenty. We got all the amphetamine we'd ever need. So. Um, one weed and X. That's it. Make a new order. Give me, uh... Give me 50 X. And give me... 50 weed. Perfect. 600 bucks. Order that shit. Put it in the bag. Okay. And that's gonna take Eddie how long? Two and a half hours. It's gonna cost us six hundo. Do we have six hundred? We do. So we're gonna do that. Because we're gonna pay Eddie off while we're here. While we're already on the way there. I have cash. Because we're gonna get more cash. So, there's... Hmm, we might want to take care of Eddie first. Or, what time is it? Nah, we're gonna go do the deals first. We're gonna get our police hours bonused. Or, bonus. Because as long as we complete these, while it's still police out... What? Oh. Uh... Drop that. What did I... Oh no. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. I picked up way too much cash. Um... Okay, so... We'll come back for that. We will come back for that. We just have to remember that it's there. We just have to 
have to remember that that cache is there, because I'm not about to lose 400. And Mia is way the hell over here. Yeah, you're tired, I know. Can't breathe. What time is it? We still can't technically be seen by the cops, because that would be hard to chirp. I heard that chirp. I didn't hear the radio, I heard the chirp from the radio. And I was like, there are cops nearby, and I'm in the middle of the daytime. I'm in the, like, they can find me. So I don't know how much, uh... Oh good, it's still there. I don't know how much she's gonna have for us. Oh no, we already collected it. Police hours left it. Cool. So we're gonna run over to Eddie, and we're gonna pay our bills. And open up some inventory space. The curse of running around with only pockets is... A, you can't just pull little bits out of your pocket. You have to pull out the entire stack. Well, there are two of y'all. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, crap. I just remembered something. We just unlocked Sector B. Which means that drugs may be have we may have to pick up drugs from sector B. So let's go ahead and put our big boy backpack on. We got two new orders that came in, or two new messages. 4G of candy, yep. And 2G. So I think that's the last of our X. Not quite, but it's close. Four and two. Package. So we're gonna need three. Add to inventory. So we're gonna put one here, and the other two here. And we're carrying around this big gray thing because I'm waiting to find out, uh... We're gonna hit Juliet first. How long has this video been going on? 28 minutes. Okay, so like I said last time, we're gonna uh, run this until we pick up those drugs. So we're gonna run over to Juliet. Which should be next to that construction worker over there. That is not Juliet. That's a construction worker. And... Oh wait, no, they're over here. Where over here? Right there. Damn it, man, you're gonna stand out in the fucking open like that? And you wanted four. And then we need to get to Conchita. So there are ways across Sector B that don't involve the checkpoint. We will probably never utilize them unless we're carrying a massive amount of drugs and can't toss it over a fence or anything like that. At which point, we might utilize one of the two ways. But one of the ways that we will use... Um, I'll show you here in a minute. Because we're most likely going to have to use it. Where is... Really, girl? Okay. So, we actually need to... We need to find out where those drugs are going to be at. Because granted, it was going to take two and a half hours of in-game time. Which normally take a while. But we should be getting a notification any minute now. of where they're at.
Because I need more eggs. <laughs> Nobody's buying amphetamine right now. Wow, this is... Well, that's another order. We may have to wait until next time. They want money, and Amy's right there. They have money for me. So let's go collect money. I tell you what, we'll collect the money, and unless this pops up while we're out and about, we're not gonna do it. Frankly, I don't care. We're gonna walk right around them. Juked. Yeah, Amy's right there in the playground. There we go. There's some money in my pocket. Oh, there it is. Basketball court dead drop. Okay, cool. This is right here. Okay, so it's in one of these two trash cans. Not this one. There we are. So we're just gonna meander our way over. And what I think I'll do next episode is I'll show you a trick that I learned for getting past the uh, first things first, drug placement. Uh, weed goes there, X goes there, and there's the last of our sweet dope. But we're going to save, and we're going to end the episode here. I will check that those uh, emails in just a moment, because I know what one of them is. But anyways, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Comment if you didn't, or if you have any ideas or suggestions, or if you just want to say something. I don't... It's like, I appreciate it all. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I, like I said in the last episode, I'm thinking about doing a millionaire series on this, trying to get a million dollars in our ATM account as fast as possible, which, of course, is going to be like, it's going to be slow going in the beginning, so I may just, uh, I could actually do it on this one, but I want to do it on the hardest difficulty, so, I don't know, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Tell me what you think. We can either do it on this one, and I can just hustle and grind on this one, trying to get a million dollars as fast as possible, since we're already so far into it. Or we can start a new one from level one on the hardest difficulty, and try and get two million dollars as quickly as possible. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and as always, toodles.